the pandemic and concerns about voting in person are believed to be driving more and more Americans to vote by mail. More than 70 million voters have already cast their ballots and more are expected with each passing day. So it's no surprise that voters will turn on their televisions, log on to social media and news websites to see who is their president on November 3rd. However, they may be faced with disappointments as we may not know the result of the election days, even weeks after November 3rd. Our next report takes an in-depth look at the vote counting process after the election and why this year we may have an unprecedented delay. A precinct is a voting district in a town, city, or county. Each precinct has a single polling place where voters cast ballots. Some precincts might contain thousands of voters, while others may have only a handful. In some states, tracking the percent of precincts reporting on election night is a reliable way to estimate how much of the vote has been tallied across the state. But as more people vote before election day, either in person or by mail, Reporting by precinct has become less reliable as a measure of the progress of the vote count in many states. That's because counties in some states don't include these advanced votes when reporting precinct results. Instead, they release the results of advanced votes separately. For example, some states and counties report all the advanced ballots and assign them to a single precinct, or no precinct at all, instead of the individual precincts where voters live. Also, there could still be votes left to count even after the precinct's reporting reaches 100%. These may be votes cast by mail that have not yet been counted, or provisional ballots that voters must cast if they forget their identification or they aren't on the voter list at their neighborhood precinct. Provisional ballots get further scrutiny after Election Day. Also, some states accept mail ballots after Election Day, as long as they are postmarked by Election Day. In 2016, 42% of U.S. voters cast their ballots before Election Day. This year, that share will exceed 50%.